Hello, finally again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Parcheet FM, the only radio station worldwide that goes deck el do to add two more to your bass in your face. What I want to do today is explain to you bass 12. It's fairly easy to understand, but I believe that not enough people know about this. It has a few advantages to the way we count right now, so it's a nice gadget to have in your brain pocket. Suck it. First of all, I'm gonna start by explaining the way we count currently, and I know you know how to count. Every five-year-old can count and understands the system that we use to count, but the thing is we use it so frequently that we don't really think about the way it works. So I just wanna remind you how it works, and then that's gonna make you understand bass 12 way easier. Super fast. In a flash. Okay, so for this it's important to differentiate between the amount of things that you have and the symbol that we use to describe that amount. So, amount, symbol, amount, symbol, amount, symbol, amount, symbol, a shock mount, symbol, amount, symbol, amount, symbol, a mountain of dirt in front of my house. Next thing you need to do is you need to agree on an amount that you will use as your base. All about that base, about that base, no trouble. Currently, almost all over the world, the base that we use is 10. This means that we need exactly 10 symbols to represent all the amounts that are smaller than 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the 0. We don't actually need a symbol to represent the base itself, because the base is represented by a 1 in the next column. So let's move on to the second column. Here the symbols still stand for the amount that we've tied to them before. But, not the amount of things that you have, but the amount of bases that you have. When we reach the second column, we pack the things that we want to count up into groups of the amount that we've agreed upon as a base. So now the 1 still means a 1. But it doesn't mean one thing that you want to count, it means one group of those things. And likewise, a three would still mean a three, but that would be three groups of those things. You absolutely need the zero to express that other than the base you have nothing going on. Or else you would have to write a one there and then you would have one base and one that would be eleven. Or you would write nothing and then you would have one and that wouldn't be one base but just a one. So if you want to write the base, you need the zero to say, look, I've got one base and, and that's it. So if you see 28, then that's twice the base, plus an 8, which is 28, super simple. All about that base, about that base, no trouble. But why 10? Why does it have to be 10? Why doesn't it work with, say, uh, 4 or 8 or any number? As a matter of fact, it does. Computers count in binary, and that has a base of 2. All about that base, about that base, no trouble. Alright, let's move on to binary, which is much more simple than the system that we use, but we understand it not as well because we don't use it that frequently. Well, this is how a computer counts. Zero, well, that looks familiar. Uh, one, that also looks familiar. Um, two, but unfortunately, we've run out of symbols already, so we have to move up a column already. So now, two looks like this. So their 2 looks like our 10, because it's their base. Next one would be 3, so we have 2 already, and we need to add 1. We have a symbol for 1, so let's use that. And that's 3, and we've run out of symbols again. So we have to move up to the next column. It's getting exhausting already. This one is 4. Next one is 5. Run out of symbols again in the smallest column, which happens every second number. Move up to the next column. 6, 7, 8. I hope you're getting the hang of this 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, but why 10? What, what, what's it about 10? What's so special about 10 that we trust it with something so fundamental and basic and important to our everyday lives? Well, most people believe that it's because we have 10 fingers. And it's very easy to count with your fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <gasps> now, even though we have 10 fingers and the decimal system using 10 as a base is so broadly accepted, there's still one that popped up and that we can't seem to get rid of because it's so useful. Now, which one is that? Base 12. All about that baby, 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 base. There are 12 hours on a clock, 12 inch in a foot, 12 months in a year, and there's even a word for just 12 things. A dozen. 
There is even the Dozental Society of Great Britain and the Dozental Society of America, which are two societies of people who think we should be counting in base 12. We do run into a problem trying to do this, because in base 12 we need 12 symbols for 12 different amounts, but we only know 10 symbols. So when we reach 10, what happens? Well, we have to make up new symbols, and there have been a couple of different takes on how to do this. The one I like most, which is not my idea, is to use an X for the 10 and an E for the 11. Or actually it looks more like a Greek lowercase chi and a flip 3. I like this version because the X is a nice reference to the Greek symbol for 10, and the E is just the beginning of E11 or elf in German. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, deck, L, and now we've run out of symbols, so we have to move over to the next column. Each number here not meaning single things that we're counting, but dozens. Do. Do 1, Do 2, Do 3, Do 4, Do 5, Do 6, Do 7, Do 8, Do 9, Do deck, Do L, 2 Do. 2 to 1, 2 to 2, and so forth. If we were to write this number, it would be 37, but only in base 10. In base 12, it would be 3 to 7, which is 3 dozens, is 36 on its own, plus the 7, 43. Super simple. Next time what I want to talk about are the advantages and disadvantages of base 12 compared to base 10. Also I want to show you how to count in base 12 with your fingers and show you why it's way superior than the way we count to 10 with our fingers. That's it for today on Parchita FM. Tune in next time when we talk a little more about Deck Eldo and I show you that you have been missing out. Let's show Count Fun Count how to do it right. Parachitaufen!